Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is the War Train here. Do me a favor, if you're new, subscribe to the channel, guys. I try to upload gaming content like this on a steady basis. And if you guys enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. But with that said, today's video, I wanted to show you guys my Wii and Wii U collection. Um, I have a decent amount of Wii U games and not, not a ton of Wii games. There was a lot of shovelware. So I pretty much just have some of the stuff that I really wanted or there, uh, there's still stuff I want to get, but I can't find it. <laughs> you know, I, I'm always looking for new games, but um, you know, I do have a, a nice little collection that I enjoy anyway. And for the Wii U, it wasn't a huge library of games, but I have most of the stuff that I actually wanted. Like I said, still always looking for more games. But um, I wanted to show you guys my collection because I think the Wii U is an absolutely underrated system. I really enjoy it. It actually gets a lot of playtime at my house. My kids enjoy it. I enjoy it. It's just an all around good system that unfortunately, was overlooked people walked past it in stores the thing collected dust it didn't sell and Nintendo dropped it um, you know but luckily it did lead to the Nintendo switch and there's a lot of similarities in the systems I mean you got to figure that uh, touchscreen gamepad you know right there's the similarity um, you, the switch is basically I think what the Wii U is what they wish they could have done back then but the technology wasn't quite there yet uh, because it even has a, the same exact size screen and everything and I don't think that's a coincidence <laughs> but uh, I'm glad they had that made this system because there is a, a small li library of games but a, a good library and that's why you're seeing so many Nintendo Switch um, or Wii U ports on a Nintendo Switch because some of these games were really good they probably spent a lot of time making them and you know I'm glad they did put some of these games on there because they're selling great and you know I have a bunch of them and there's still more actually wish they poured over and uh, actually right now I want to say their number one selling switch game is Mario Kart 8 Deluxe which was actually a Wii U game so it goes to show you the games you know that were on this system how good they were so got a lot to kind of go over here guys so stick with me and let's check out this collection okay guys so as you can see here I you know kind of displayed all this I always think it looks cool to put all this stuff together but I also wanted to put some amiibos out because this is kind of when they all started and they pretty much started to be something involved with Smash Brothers and obviously for Nintendo to make some money but um, this was all during the toys toys to life craze but I actually enjoy them I think they're cool I like having these little Nintendo characters and characters from other franchises but uh you know they definitely take up some space but they de they look really cool in a display like this so i'm gonna just take off these this uh top row here so we can just get to the games all right so let's see here so the first one stack here and this is a stack of 10 that i have so we got phineas and ferb quest for cool stuff uh, this is based off a cartoon, a uh, pretty cool cartoon. Tokyo Mirage Sessions uh, Fire Emblem. Now we're getting a Switch port for this game, and there's been some controversy around it in Japan right now. We have the first Injustice game, Gods Among Us. Um, I am a huge fan of these Injustice games. They're made by the creators of Mortal Kombat, and they are awesome. So. NBA 2K13. <laughs> um, you know, I, I want to say this is kind of a rare thing. Um, I want to say it may be the only basketball game on the uh, Wii U. So, kind of uh, important game here. Hot Wheels, worst best driver. I want to say this, like uh, the sports game, the basketball, and this are on the more uncommon side. Game Party Champions, just a collection of little party games and stuff. You know, these games are always kind of fun. Um, the Wii and the Wii U are great for that kind of stuff. Mighty Number no. 9, a Kickstarter project that a lot of people weren't totally thrilled with, but it's, it's a fine game. It's basically from people that made Mega Man. Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate. 
you know, just Monster Hunter games are always, always cool. Super Mario, or new Super Mario Brothers U. <laughs> that got a Switch port. And let's see. This one actually comes with Super new Super Luigi Brothers U as well. So this is a uh, two games on the one disc. And DuckTales Remastered. Absolutely awesome, uh, you know, remaster of this game. It looks great. Looks like a cartoon and a load of fun. All right, so that was the first stack of 10. Okay, so we have Pokemon Tournament. Um, cool uh, little fighting game here. You know, this also got ported to Nintendo Switch, but that port actually has all the DLC. Um, this is a, a fun little fighter. Star Fox Zero, a controversial game. A lot of people did not like the way that they used the, um, the, the game pad. And, you know, I wish they would have just offered regular controls myself, but it's still, all in all, I don't think a bad game. It just could have been better if they gave you better options on the controls. Sonic All-Star Racing Transformed, a uh, racing game. I always like these little racing games here. All right, Hello Kitty Cruisers, a uh, uncommon to rare game on the Wii U. I want to say it's more uncommon. Um, I actually had a hard time finding this because I was looking uh, for some of the rare Wii U games while they were cheap at GameStop. And um, I did hunt this down and it was a little bit pricey for what it is, but I wanted to have it in my collection because down the road, this stuff's probably gonna be worth more money, even though I don't really care about the money. I don't, you know, I don't really collect for that. Um, I actually have this on the Switch as well. Cause yeah, I don't, I don't really care about the value of the games. I just play them and I'm never gonna sell my games <laughs> anyway, you know, unless my family does after I'm gone, so. <laughs> Uh, Need for Speed, Most Wanted You, um, love racing games, so, you know, I seen there was a Need for Speed on there, had to pick this up. Kirby and the Rainbow Curse, um, you know, just more Kirby, you know, easier style games. This one, you actually really use the, uh, the touchpad, so pretty cool how they implement this stuff. You know, I like these Kirby games, they're, they're on the easy side, but it's kind of fun to have that nice colorful look. I, I enjoy that. And Star Fox Guard, this actually came with Star Fox Zero. Um, just, you know, a little bit extra. I don't know if you'd say this is kind of like some DLC, but it's, I mean, it's not. It's just like some added kind of stuff. Um, I don't know why they just didn't put this right on the game, but <laughs> they didn't. Um, an older one, and <laughs> when I first got the Wii U, I had got this for my daughter. That's why it's all, well, this case is beat up because it was one of the early ones I had. My kids were real little. Uh, Monster High, New Ghoul in School, a uh, game I've never played and never will. This was for my daughter. She played it a lot when she was really little. Um, don't play it no more. She's a lot older now. 30 Great Games, Obstacle Arcade. All right, and a bunch of uh, mini games. So, like I said, you know, these consoles were pretty much known for the mini games. All right, so that was the second stack of 10. All right. Now this is on the more uncommon side, this game, and I have two of these. <laughs> but uh, really it's just two cases. One of these is actually broken. Um, I had a major problem with my son breaking my Wii U games because he'd snapped a disc in the system and I'd have to basically go through a whole bunch of return stuff and I'd get a new disc and that one wouldn't work so I'd have to take it back and oh, it was an absolute nightmare with uh, getting these games that are working um, used because I, I had all sorts of problems so I always get the uh, protection on these games. So, you know, currently there's only one that is works in, in the out of these two cases but I keep the case because um, like I said, this game's um, one of the more pricier games and harder to uh, get for. So maybe I'll complete that second one down the road. Paper Mario Color Splash. Um, a lot of people hate it on this game. I don't think it's too bad. Um, I had some fun with it, you know. But, you know, more of the Paper Mario stuff. 
And Super Mario Maker, absolutely great game, and that's why they made a sequel to it, because this game is phenomenal, and it's a game that you could play forever. Splatoon, the first one. This is a great IP. I really like the Splatoon series. Um, you know, this that's why they, I'm glad they put a second one on the Switch right away, because... I mean, this is just, I, I want to say one of their just new strong franchises and is going to do great things moving forward. Absolutely ton of fun. Xenoblade Chronicle X. Um, you know, uh, a JRPG, uh, like the, the Xenoblade Chronicle games, I think they're a lot of fun and really good looking. Um, you know, I, I wish they would give this one um, a, a remaster or whatever on the Nintendo Switch. I think it'd be cool to get this game running better and um, at maybe a higher resolution. Pikmin 3. Um, a lot of people want this game to come to the Switch or some kind of a Pikmin port or Pikmin 4. And I gotta agree, this is a great looking game on uh, Wii U. It looks absolutely great. And Wonderful 101, another one people want to see ported to the Nintendo Switch. A uh, different kind of game, you use little people, almost gather them together like Pikmin's, it kind of reminds me of in a way, or Lemmings, and you make uh, weapons out of them. They're all superheroes, you make fists and swords and just, you know, uh, it helps you get through like puzzles or beat things up. Uh, pretty interesting game, uh, definitely different to say the least. Yoshi's Woolly World. This game is fantastic. I love this game. I think it, they did a great job with this. The whole yarn thing totally works. And I have all the uh, yarn Yoshis except for the giant one. And I think they're cool. They just look awesome. Actually, I don't have the dog, so I got to get the dog at some point. Um, but really awesome game. One of the, the best platformers on this system. And it's just a great looking game. I like how they use the amiibos too, where you scan them. And you can, uh, you know, um, get different looks for your character in game. Shantae and the Half Genie Hero, um, another game they ported to Switch. Uh, this is a great platform style game, and the hand drawn art style is fantastic. All right, so that goes through that stack of 10. Okay, Mario Kart 8. Um, this is a must have on the system because this is just a great car racer. You know, it kind of speaks for itself. I don't think I need to cover that one. <laughs> Wii Sports Club, um, you know, kind of like a bunch of mini games, just like you'd think. It's got, you know, it's a Wii Sports game. It's just kind of uh, all in HD, it looks better. It's got some of the same stuff, uh, a couple little bit different things, but it's mostly, uh, or maybe it's all an online uh, style game. But definitely more of the same. If you like Wii Sports, um, you probably would like this. I don't think it's as good as that, but it's not bad. Batman 2, DC Super Heroes. Um, one of these Lego games. Um, you know you know what to expect with these. Pretty much, they're, they're all got their uh, moments. They're kind of fun. Mario Party 10, a very controversial <laughs> this game. A lot of people didn't like how they were in a vehicle, but you know, uh, my son really likes playing this one, so, um, hey, more power to him. <laughs> Nintendo Land, this is a great game, oh man, but my son loves this game. This cart has got so much use, and actually, the other Wii U, because I, I have two Wii U's, the one system has this, and Mario 3D Land actually included into it, so, um, it's just an awesome game all the way around. These mini, mini games are just great. And it's just a lot of fun. Um, I think they, they could revisit this and add some stuff. Uh, this would be an interesting Switch port. Shovel Knight. Um, yeah, this is a great 8-bit inspired game. I don't You can't go wrong with this game at all. Um, absolutely fantastic. And um, really like this game. ESPN Sports Connection. You know, just some little uh, sports minigame kind of stuff. You know, like I said, this system, they expect a lot of that stuff on here. Pac-Man and the Ghostly Adventures, another one of these 3D style Pac-Man games. You know, there is some fun to be had here, but nothing beats the uh, classic Pac-Man in my opinion. Snoopy's Grand Adventure. <laughs> well, 
my son was playing a lot of this game when he's real little. Um, it wind up being me playing it and trying to get him through the levels because I don't. I want to say it had its moments where it was kind of tough. So, um, kids game that's kind of hard for kids. So go figure. Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Winter Games um, 2014. Um, more of the same, bunch of mini games. Uh, this one has the uh, winter theme. So, you know, more of the same kind of stuff. Lots of fun. I like these games. So that's that stack of 10. Okay, and getting towards some of my favorite games on the system. Not saying that some of them other ones weren't, but we're getting, the last stack is pretty much all my super favorites. Okay, this is another favorite, Smash Brothers for Wii U. Absolutely great game. This one offers things that some of the other ones don't. It has like a board style game. My son still plays this game a bunch. He actually prefers this. Cause he likes to play that, um, the, like the, the board game style fighting. Um, I, <laughs> I get frustrated every time I do it. A lot of it is random and luck, but <laughs> I'm horrible at it and he's good at it. That's probably why he likes it, but absolutely a great game. One of the best on here. And that's what smash ultimate. Basically I want to say is just like an up, upscaled version of this, adding a bunch of content and more characters. And another uncommon game, Turbo Super Stunt Squad. Um, I searched this one out too. It's, you're basically Turbo the Slug and you, or Snail and you kind of crawl around or race, whatever, but he's, he's, a, he's a slug so or a uh, snail. So, you know, it's, it's weird. It's based off a movie, but uh, one of the uncommon games. Sonic Lost World, Deadly Six Bonus Edition. Um, you know, a... a Another Sonic game, this one kind of tries to do the Mario Galaxy thing a little bit, um, where you have these spheres that you run on and stuff. Um, yeah, it's okay. It's not definitely not the greatest Sonic game, but it's, it's, it's got its moments, I, I suppose. Uh, Terraria, you know, one of these like indie style games, um, you know, with the pixel art. Uh, not a bad game. This also got a Switch port. Mass Effect 3 Special Edition, um, you know, it's Mass Effect 3 on the Wii U, uh, kind of cool. I don't know uh, if this, I wonder, I don't know what the best like looking version is. Um, I know the Wii U is a little more powerful than some of like the PS3 and I want to say the 360. I could be wrong on that, but I want to say it was just a little bit uh, more powerful, but um, you know, Mass, Mass Effect 3. <laughs> Okay, Rodea the Sky Soldier. Um, this game actually comes with the Wii game too. Um, it's a weird game because it was actually uh, made for the Wii and the Wii U, I, I want to say at the same time. And uh, I want to say that the creator said that the Wii version was actually like the definitive edition because that's the one that this game was actually made for. And the controls, I guess, represent what they were actually going for. But you know, obviously the Wii U version is gonna look better. So, uh, interesting uh, game here. And Mario Tennis Ultra Smash, um, you know, very plain tennis game, you know, very vanilla here. Um, glad we got um, the uh, other one on the Switch. Zombie U, um, you know, if you like zombie games and stuff, this is interesting. It uses the gamepad for some, uh, extra like uh, features that you know you wouldn't get obviously in some of the other versions of this but definitely not a bad game it uses the uh, gamepad pretty cool batman arkham's uh arkham city armored edition i'm a big fan of these batman games i think they're awesome so you know just another cool batman game here Ninja Gaiden 3, Razor's Edge, another um, cool franchise, definitely hard as nails. Um, these games just always are hard, um, but they're still fun and I do like the way they look and I've always been a fan of Ninja Gaiden. All right, so that was that stack of 10. And here's where I was saying these are some of my favorites and you'll see why. Because of Zelda, um, Zelda, the Wind Waker HD, this game is absolutely phenomenal. One of my favorite games 
ever and on this system. It's just gorgeous looking. I mean, they did a great job with this HD remake. I mean, this is the definitive edition by far, especially having the fast sail and everything to move faster through the uh, ocean. And uh, we have Twilight Princess HD, another one. This is the definitive edition. Plus you can actually, you know, just use the gamepad as a controller. So I think that's cool, but this game definitely looks the best on here. Obviously it's in HD and it does have Amiibo support. And here we go, which is a masterpiece. The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Um, this is my open copy, but I also have a sealed copy of this. This game speaks for itself. Like I said, this is an absolute masterpiece and was actually made for the Wii U. So kind of stinks that they took out the, um, the, the gamepad feature on this because I want to say if the Switch wasn't a thing, um, the, you would have been using the, the Sheikah Slate on your gamepad, which kind of stinks that they left that out. Hyrule Warriors, um, you know, this game got a, a port and th there's a ton of content in the, this game. <laughs> um, there's just, you could play this for so many hours. Um, definitely a cool game. I enjoy this, this type of, of game, but uh, you know, it's not for everybody. That's, that's for sure. Bayonetta 1 and 2. Um, this comes with both discs, um, which is pretty awesome. Um, these Bay Bayonetta games are just absolutely amazing. Um, you know, one of the, the best hack and slash uh, kind of franchises there is, in my opinion. I really do enjoy these games, and I think it's great that you get both games physically in this edition. And here I got the standalone New Super Mario, Super Luigi Brothers U. These games have huge names here. Well, this is the Year of Luigi 30th anniversary game. Um, I thought it was awesome because it came in this green case, so I definitely had to have this. Um, you know, probably still one of the more uncommon, not rare by any means, but I'd say maybe uncommon. And then we got Super Mario Brothers 3D World. This game is awesome. Um, I love this Mario. I think it's great. And I w really would like to see them come out with a Switch port of this game. I think it would sell absolutely amazing. And this is actually on my uh, first Wii U. This was the edition that I got. It came with this game and Nintendo Land um, packed into the, uh, you know, in already downloaded on the system. And, you know, so it start, you started off with two great games right away when I bought the, the console. And the box looks cool, that's why I have it displayed. <laughs> and another one of my favorites, NES Remix Pack. This game is awesome. Um, you know, you just get, uh, you know, well, there's an NES Remix Pack 2 on there as well, but you get a ton of old NES games and they give you a bunch of little challenges. Um, definitely puts a new spin on these old games and I really want them to make another one of these. Um, hopefully a Super Nintendo one and on the Switch and pack this one into that game or have it unlockable or something. Absolutely fantastic idea. And Game & Wario, this is another game I've had a couple that have been snapped because this game gets a lot of play at my house. Um, underrated game for sure. Um, it doesn't have a lot of content, but what's there is fun. So um, not a bad game. It's definitely unique, uses the touchpad in some cool ways, and my kids love this game. Gianna Sisters, Twisted Dreams, Director, Director's Cut. This game also came to the Switch on, as a port. Um, I haven't actually played this, and I really need to. This is supposedly an awesome, awesome game. It looks fantastic. Um, you know, I do need to play this one. Maybe I'll pick it up on the Switch, because I kind of hate to open this copy up at this point. <laughs> All right, so that was that stack. So now I have a kind of uh, mixed stack down here on the end so get rid of some of these amiibos here and this is going to lead into some of the other games so i guess i'll just grab all of them it's quite a quite a stack here all right so i'll go through the rest of the wii u games quick some of the uh other ones wii party u um you know definitely more uh, mini games so they're, they're always fun, I do enjoy them. Another Game & Wario, only one of these has a working game, the other one has a game that's cracked in it. So let's see which one this is. This is the working copy. 
Okay, so we got Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. Absolutely great game. I actually have this on Switch and on the 3DS as well. I love this game. Um, it was a mini game that was in uh, Mario 3D Land, and then they just turned it into its own game, which was a great idea. Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. I love this game. I, Donkey Kong Country is great, and they nailed it with this game. Um, the Switch, that is pretty much the definitive edition because it, it definitely looks a little bit better but and, and it runs better. But overall, it doesn't matter. This game's great on any console. Definitely way cheaper on the Nintendo Switch. Worth a pickup. Epic Mickey 2, The Power of 2. Um, you got Oswald there and Mickey. Um, a game my son really wanted. Um, a little bit tough for the kids though. Uh, him and my daughter both played a lot of this, but it was giving them problems. But interesting game. It's kind of cool. And uh, yeah, so that's all the Wii U games I have. So let's get to some of these Wii games. We got Pac-Man Party. Um, you know, just more of these, uh, you know, 3D Pac-Man style games. This one actually has the original arcade game on it. Despicable Me, the game, um, a game my son, you know, definitely wanted to uh, play. One for my daughter, Animal Crossing City Folk. And one I just picked up not too long ago, Donkey Kong Jungle Beat. Um, you can actually use the Wiimote uh, instead of the bongos in this version. Because this also came out on the GameCube. Super Mario Galaxy 2, um, don't need an in, any introduction, absolutely great game. I actually have two copies of this, both in pretty great shape. Um, the one I couldn't refuse, I got it for a dollar at a yard sale, so uh, even though I already had it, I couldn't leave without it. I had to rescue it. And I also got this next to it with, for a dollar at the same place, and that is Carnival Games. Um, a game I definitely uh, got my money out of because my kids played a lot of this. So, uh, more mini, mini games here. And this actually got a port too on the Switch. Then we have uh, Mario and Sonic in the Olympic Games at Beijing uh, 2008. Another one of these games with mini games. Um, you know, these are <laughs> very popular in my house, <laughs> obviously. And they do make quite a bit of these. And no other than Spongebob, Boating Bash. Um, you know, these Spongebob games are definitely interesting and can be a lot of fun. So just another uh, quirky Spongebob game here. And Super Paper Mario. Um, you know, Paper Mario is definitely a cool uh, little, um, you know, different, different kind of game. Um, you know, these uh, definitely are worth picking up, in my opinion, if you like RPG style games. Um, you know, definitely fun, and the, the art style is cool. I just like the paper look and just these bright, colorful games. Really a big fan. And here we got another Mario Party, Mario Party 8. Um, like I said, mini games are popular in my house because of the kids. So, you know what you're getting with the Mario Party game. Okay, so that was that stack. And last but not least, I had to get a, another copy of Wii Sports Resort, the actual, um, a hard copy here. Um, this thing's in nice shape. So, great, great game. This thing is absolutely fantastic. Uh, Ghostbusters, the video game, um, actually, absolutely a great game. I love this ghost, these Ghostbusters games. Um, currently, I just got the uh, the new one, and uh, it's awesome for the Switch. Mario Strikers Charged, a Mario soccer style game, uh, definitely unique and quite a bit of fun. I know a lot of people want to have a new one of these put onto the Nintendo Switch. I think that could be cool. And uh, another Zelda, Skyward Sword. You know, probably one of my least favorite um, Zelda games just because of the motion controls are, the, the game's built around it. So you're, you're kind of forced to use them. And I wish there was a way to just use a controller, but I know the whole game mechanic is built around the motion control and using it as a sword, which is kind of cool, but it gets a little old swinging your arm around. So I just wish there was more options here. And another great game, Super Smash Brothers Brawl. Um, really great looking um, game, you know. I, I, 
these Smash Brothers games always, I want to say, looked great. I mean, the first one uh, was probably the poorest looking one, but after that they just got better looking and better looking. This one kind of had more of a realistic look to it, but uh, definitely cool, and they all kind of added more new stuff as they went along. So, great, great franchise. And something I had to have, House of the Dead 2 and 3 return. I'm a huge House of the Dead fan. I used to love playing these in the arcade. So I had to get this. And one, I, I keep grabbing and putting back. I, when I get more money, I'm going to just get it, is um, Resident Evil Umbrella Chronicles. Because I just like these light gun style games, these shooters. They're just awesome. And I just need to get that Resident Evil one and stop putting it back. Because it's always when I don't have a lot of money on me. <laughs> You know, they can't have it when I'm like, you know, got a, a fat wallet or something. But Metroid Other M, um, you know, controversial Metroid game. It was a lot different than some of the other ones, real linear. And just, you know, you had to ask permission to unlock your abilities. A lot of people didn't like that. But very cinematic, still a cool looking game. I, I wish this would get an HD uh, remake or something. Um, I think that could be really cool to play this in, uh, you know, HD. And Xenoblade Chronicles, um, another great RPG. Um, you know, this introduced Shulk, and that's where he came from. And a game that there was controversy around this because GameStop was, uh, you know, opening copies of this <laughs> and selling them, uh, you know, jacking up prices, which is insane. So it's kind of crazy that they ever even did that, but... Uh, cool game. This is getting an HD remake on Nintendo Switch, so I'll be picking that up. And Punch-Out! I am a huge fan of the Punch-Out! franchise, so I had to make sure I had this game in my collection. Absolutely love it. And Donkey Kong Country Returns. This game is fantastic. I just love these Donkey Kong Country games. And this one was great. I really like playing this on my 3DS because I think the 3D works awesome for this game. Um, beautiful game too. I mean, th these games are just amazing looking. Uh, they Retro Studios did a fantastic job with uh, Donkey Kong franchise. And WarioWare Smooth Moves, I played a lot of this game. Um, this game is a blast. Um, just the way that they used the, the uh, Wiimote and everything, it just totally works for this game. Um, you know, this was, was probably one of my favorite games on the system. I used to play this so much when the Wii came out. Um, it was crazy how much I played this. And Wario Land Shake It, um, one I currently just got. Um, I haven't played it yet, but I really need to because I've heard great things about this and the game looks gorgeous for a Wii game. So looking forward to checking that out. All right, so that was that pile. And last but not least here, I want to show you guys this. This is Metroid Prime Trilogy. Um, I was happy to get this. Um, I was, they knew I was looking for this at GameStop, and they got one in. Uh, they randomly called me and told me about it and asked me if I wanted it. I was like, absolutely, because um, it has everything in it, you know. Even the uh, outer sleeve here, it's got the, uh, you know, um, the steel book, which is gorgeous, and it's got everything inside it. I mean, I couldn't ask for much more here. Um, this thing looks absolutely awesome. Um, you know, just high, high uh, detailed, um, you know, instruction guide here. And I want to say, yeah, there's like a little, uh, a little art book kind of thing here. Um, you know, definitely really cool. I, I like, uh, I like this art stuff. Whoop, dropping stuff here. But yeah, this thing is absolutely gorgeous. I love this artwork, and I'm a huge Metroid fan. Um, I can't wait for, um, you know, Metroid Prime 4 to come out, but absolutely gorgeous this, this is. Yeah, I dropped the uh, manual here, but, you know, this, this steel bookcase looks just awesome. Um, really happy I got this. It was uh, definitely really cool, and I don't think this is super, super common either. Um, not rare, but I just want to say maybe uncommon, because it... I guess it is like a collector's edition or limited edition or something. But yeah, guys, that's my uh, Wii and Wii U collection. As you can see in the back, I do have um, two Wii U's. Like I said, um, I got the one that has Super Mario 3D World and the Nintendo Land built in. And then just the, uh, just the uh, one that I got actually pre-owned at GameStop. 
and I have the um, the Wii Blaster and um, I have the uh, Wii Fit Plus. Um, that thing I got complete in box, everything sealed um, inside, so that's really cool. And I recently picked up this dust, uh, you know, this rubber uh, thing that you put on the joy or the uh, controllers or whatever, and that was sealed. Uh, picked it up real cheap, but you know, I uh, just got some basic controllers here. Um, I'd like to get a couple more. I like these ones with the, uh, you know, different characters. I got Mario, Luigi, Bowser, Peach. I just have this one. Um, definitely cool, though. And I got the black one. And I do use this uh, Wii remote here to play some of the, you know, more intense games. Um, even on, like, Wii U and everything. You just plug it into the, the, the Wii controller and, you know, have at it. Um, if you want to play two players and, like, my son has the game pad. And, you know, just just the uh, the nunchucks. I got black and white, uh, two white and a black one. So no, nothing special there. But, uh, yeah, guys, that's, that's my collection. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed checking it out. And, uh, yeah, subscribe to the channel, guys, if you're not subscribed. I try to put cool gaming content out uh, every day if possible. But, like I said, I don't always get around to it. And if you guys enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. But... Yo guys, I'm the War Train and I'm out. Thanks for watching.